Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at the Mobile Marketing Association's Forum in Los Angeles. I am joined by Cindy Spodek Dickey of, well, I guess what last week was Zen Zooey and this week is Zoomobi. Congratulations. Thank but you very why much. Why the name change? Well, Zen Zooey brought a smile to our face and we got feedback from our customers and our consumers. They like it, but then they said, but I don't understand what it is. Zen is a very crowded space. Is it a restaurant? Is it a spa? Is it a tech device? What is it? What we learned over the last several months as we were in alpha trials and presenting to customers were, we love this, we love the Zooming user interface, we love the mobile product, and we went Zooming mobile, Zooming Zoomobi, and here we are. Fantastic. It's a, it's, a, it's a good fit. It's a great fit. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so you guys have also, in the midst of launching with a new name, have also sort of launched some new products and services, and maybe you could enlighten us as to what uh, those are. Thank you for asking. What we're here at MMA talking about is, on December 14th, Zoomobi will be rolling out its new beta. There's been a lot of buzz and a lot of chatter in the blogosphere and in the media over the last several months. They love our product, but like, where is it? Here it is, December 14th. Come to Zomobi.com now. Give us your name, email address, a little bit of information, and we'll make sure you get an email so on the first day you can download. We uh, recommend, uh, out of the gate, Windows Mobile 5 and 6 devices, though we have BlackBerry and J2ME coming in early Q2 2008. Okay, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about what our users are, are going to see, what our audience is going to see, if they're actually going to use the Zumobi on their mobile device. What's the experience going to be like? Zumobi is an application for your phone that allows you to get the information you want and the, uh, and the entertainment you want to see all day long in little snack-sized pieces on your phone. The Zooming user interface is composed of 16 widget-like items we call tiles. And the user, the end user, the consumer, can choose the 16 tiles they want to put on their phone. Then they can literally jump in and out, or we'd like to say bounce in and out, all day long looking at the information that's important to them. What makes it different and unique are two things. One is background, I'm sorry, keep mic, background caching information. So, painful browser delays where you go to your phone and you wait for the browser, you pull the, a thing of the past. Because the information is trickling down to your phone all day long, you get the information you want as fast, fresh, and relevant, and there, much like for those who use smartphones or Blackberries are used to getting their email. Right. The second piece that's really different is a gorgeous, lush user interface. Very fast, high frame rate, almost inspired by video games in the way you use it. So it's really delightful to the eye. Okay, so of those 16 tabs, are these things tiles. that... Tiles. Tiles, excuse me, 16 tiles. Are these things that I determine or you're giving me a choice of 16 and if so, what kinds of choices am I going to have? Yes, to both. When you download Zumobi for the first time, you'll be presented with 16 tiles. You as the user, though, are in control of your Zoom space. That's what we call what the 16 tiles are. And through a Zumobi application, you can literally go to our gallery and substitute in and out any tiles you want. What makes Zumobi really fun is the content. There's three types of content, okay? There's content from brands and advertisers with interactive experiences you really want, relate to, you know. There's a bunch of brands I like having in my life day in and day out, but you're different than me. You're going to want the brands that are important to you, I want the brands that are important right. to me. The second is top tier content providers where you can go up and put tiles on that speak to your needs and interests. But what makes Zumobi really cool is the tiles developed by the individual developer community. It's really what they call, you know, the long end of the tail. And these are tiles that you can load on your phone of really obscure interest. So if you're really into fly fishing and you want a fly fishing tile, you can go up to the gallery and pull down the fly fishing tile. So how are you going about and gathering up this content? Do you have a team out there that's sort of surveying and determining what types of things are going to be popular and what's the strategy to continue to expand on that? Both, both ends. From the bottom up, we hope our end users will tell us what they want and that's why we give them an open SDK so that they can create tiles on, on entertainment and ideas and, and lifestyles and interests that are important to them. But we also work with the marketing community. So they know what the pulse of the community is. They know what's important to them, so they'll develop tiles and feed it in as right. well. So it's both a top-down as well as a bottoms-up experience. So 
we're at a mobile marketing forum. We're talking to marketers. We're learning how to make a campaign successful. We're learning about best practices and what the overall user's experience is going to be when they see brands on their mobile device. How is Zoomobi fitting into that scheme, into the, that part of the ecosystem? Zoomobi fits in two ways. The first, we work with marketers and advertisers to create branded tiles, experiences, and content that they want to represent. So everybody from Moco News, to Fox Family. Mocha News gives you headlines coming out all day long. Fox Family will give you a Stewie tile or another character coming down uh, fresh every day that you can play with and have fun with. News, entertainment. But additionally, again, that open SDK empowers the community to develop tiles they want. We populate them in our ecosystem and then we pair them with advertisers who want to put themselves around that ad space. So let's say some rock star developer wants to do a snowboarding tile uh, around the mountain near his school. Well, it's unlikely he's going to be able to develop a relationship with Burton or K2 or the rest of them. We put his tile up in our ecosystem, and we pair him with advertisers and other companies we do business with. He gets a piece of the revenue. Burton gets a, um, an association with that environment. Right. And the user gets content that's really compelling, really fun, and really interesting right. to them. So you have free content. You have an advertising supported system, Correct. and you have a revenue share model to encourage more participation into, I guess, the, the further proliferation of the types of tiles and marketing and things that Zumobi can do. Well said. Wonderful. Well, Cindy, thank you so much for speaking with thank us today. You. We appreciate that. We've been here with Cindy Spodek Dickey of uh, Zumobi, and uh, we're here at the Mobile Marketing Association uh, at Forum in Los Angeles. I'm Michelle Sklar for BNETTV.com.